Thanks for joining us. We're excited to walk you through the Charbroil Performance Series Grill Easy Assembly. Let's get started. There are two portions of this assembly that require two people. Make sure you have some assistance. You'll need the following tools for today's assembly. Be sure to assemble your grill on a level, protective surface to prevent damage to the unit. To maintain the finish and protect your new grill from damage, assemble this product on a blanket or soft protective pad. For ease of product removal, cut all four corners with a utility knife and allow the carton panels to lay flat as shown. Be sure to wear protective gloves while cutting the carton. You'll want to be sure to avoid over-tightening the screws and washers that come into contact with porcelain coated surfaces. Over-tightening may cause the porcelain coating to crack and break, resulting in exposed metal that will be prone to rust. Step 1. Attach the left side cart, right side cart, and the bottom shelf by using four screws and four flange nuts. Step 2. Attach the back panel to the left and right side carts with the six sheet metal screws. Step 3. Use the caster pin to attach the locking and fixed casters to the left and right side carts. After all four casters are secure, remove the caster pin and save for future maintenance. Step 4. Secure the weight block to the bottom shelf by using two screws and two flange nuts. Next, secure the tank exclusion to the back panel with one sheet metal screw. For step six, you'll connect the front door brace to the front of the cart using two screws. Tighten screws accordingly. Step seven, attach the heat shield to the front door brace using two screws. Step eight requires two people. First, place the top lid, main control panel, and the firebox on the grill base. Next, use four screws to secure. Step nine has three parts. First, line up the holes on the right side shelf to the firebox. Next, use the two screws to flange nut and flat washer to line up the right side shelf and fascia. Lastly, secure the screws into the holes. Next, you'll want to securely tighten the screws. Now it's time to attach the side burner. This part will be a three-step process. First, align the side burner shelf to the firebox. Next, use a flange nut to connect the upper fascia on the left shelf. Lastly, place two screws underneath the burner shelf in the appropriate holes. Next, you'll want to tighten the screws to secure the side burner. For the first part of step 13, you'll need to remove the screws from the valve hose regulator. Next, secure the bezel knob to the lower fascia using the screws that were just removed from the side burner valve bracket. Step 14, secure the control knob in place. Step 15, attach the side burner to the valve, hose, and regulator Next, secure the wire on the front side burner. Lastly, place the side burner grate on top of the side burner. Step 16, now it's time to attach the doors and handles. First, using the two screws, two lock washers and two flat washers to secure the handles to each door. Next, line the doors up with the body of the grill and press the grooves into place to secure. Step 17, attach the heat tent to the firebox. Be sure to line up the heat tent to the front and back sides of the firebox accordingly. Step 18, place the cooking grates on the left and middle sides of the heat tent. Place the narrow cooking grate on the far right side of the heat tent. We're almost there. For step 19, align the swing away grid with the top lid and firebox. Next, for step 20, Place the module button on top of the electric ignition module on the main control panel. Next, place one AAA battery in the slot. Step 21, install grease tray by sliding it into the back of the grill. You'll then slide the grease pan underneath the grease tray. Step 22, you're almost ready to grill. The last step is to place the LP cylinder on the bottom shelf and connect it to the wing screw tank. You've just finished assembling your new grill. Now you're cooking.